dear video first semester students welcome back to the channel hope you are all doing well today i am with the passing package for your uh, c cycle subject that is applied chemistry for cse stream students who are currently studying in first semester they can refer this passing package uh, if you want to pass this subject then surely this is for you and also if you want to score i will tell you the strategy how you can score in the chemistry subject right so this is a uh, uh, subject code is bchas 102r202 this is the passing package for you guys and you should uh, start your preparation from beginning itself so that later on you can uh, score more and more okay so first of all uh, let's talk about the model first in which some super question super important questions i have taken out like uh, what is conductometric sensor explain its working principle and two applications and similarly we have defined uh, electrochemical sensor uh, explain working principle of electrochemical sensors and its application and we have here what is the electrochemical gas sensors explain electrode reactions and its application and explain construction working and application of lithium ion battery and its advantage and uh, sorry and its application this is the most important question next we have what is uh, disposable sensors explain in detail working principle in the detection of biomolecules with an example and with a neat sketch explain the measurement of dissolved oxygen by electrochemical sensors next two questions we have here that is explain the construction and working of sodium ion battery write the charging and discharging reaction what are disposable sensors explain the detection of uh, ascorbic acid write the oxidation reaction these are the eight questions and this is the passing module so you should not leave any topic from the module first as you can get at least 16 to 70 marks out of 20 okay or if you are writing properly then definitely you will get 20 marks from the first module itself next we have module second where uh, you have to cover discuss in detail basic concepts of electronic memory classification what are the types of organic inorganic memory devices or used in computers with example and write briefly about electronic memory device and transistors and capacitors next we have what are liquid crystals display and uh, explain classification properties and its application in liquid crystals display technique right next we have explain the properties and application of organic uh, light emitting diode in detail and discuss the properties and application of quantum light emitting diodes qled in detail right uh, next we have what are the photoactive and electroactive material briefly discuss their role in optoelectronic devices and discuss the application of polyamide polymeric material for organic memory device last question from module second is explain organic memory devices of p type and n type by taking example of pentacene so uh, you can pass the chemistry subject only by theoretical portion but uh, as i already mentioned if you want to score in this particular subject then definitely you have to go for the numerical part you can refer the previous year question papers for practicing also i have uploaded on my instagram account a lot of papers and if you want from my side i should again upload on my instagram account the papers so you can comment down so that i can provide all the previous year question papers of chemistry subject next we have model third uh, define metallic corrosion explain the electrochemical theory of corrosion taking iron as an example and define anoding explain the process of anoding of aluminium uh, with the electrode reaction and its application next we have here question you can take the screenshot of this this is the numerical part right so next we have what are reference electrodes explain the construction working and application of calomel electrode this is the super super important question next we have explained theory in instrumentation of uh, potentiometric estimation of ferrous ammonium sulfate and its application next we have what is concentration cell and there will be some numerical attached to this particular question like a concentration cell is constructed by dipping copper rods in 0.001 and 0.1 copper sulfate solutions calculate emf of cell at 298 kelvin okay these are the questions which will be attached to the concentration cell question so what are ion selective electrode explain the determination of ph of an unknown solution using glass electrodes and what is galvanization explain galvanization of iron mention its application so this is again an important question so next we have model 4 define conducting polymers explain synthesis and conducting mechanism of polyacetylene and its application uh, next possible question we have explain the synthesis properties and commercial applications of kevlar and define pv cell explain the construction working with diagram and its advantages and applications next we have explained the preparation properties and application of graphene oxide and uh, here we have explained any four advantages and disadvantages of hydrogen production sustainability 
last two question uh, are here that is uh, with a neat sketch explain the generation of hydrogen by alkaline electrolysis of water and what is green fuel mention the advantage of green fuel okay so here i have written the note that practice numericals if convenient from previous year papers and also you should adopt a habit of writing your own notes as in the vt you will suffer a lot as far as notes are concerned okay there are no organized notes for the students so it is better to prepare your own notes when i was in uh, the engineering journey i was writing the notes by my own okay so that was the advantage for me to tackle all the examinations next we have model fifth uh, what is e-waste mention the source of e-waste and explain the need and composition of e-waste management explain thermal treatment and uh, pyrometallurgical methods of direct recycling from e-waste and explain the five ill effects of toxic materials used in manufacturing electrical and electronic e-waste in detail and uh, fourth question we have explained the extraction of gold from e-waste in detail steps involved discuss the various steps involved in recycling of e-waste and uh, next question explain hydrometallurgical extraction methods involved in extraction from e-waste last question we have here that is write brief note on sorry write brief note on role of stakeholder for example producer consumer recycler and statutory body so these are all five modules these are important questions if you just go through you can easily score and pass so only if and only if if you are practicing the subject earlier you can definitely score more than 80 marks in these particular subject nine subjects okay so better to start your preparation now itself so my best wishes are with you my dear friends so all the best for your examination and make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates who are struggling with the chemistry subject thank you